our gingerbread houses from last night. So they've completely dried TJ's church. Turned out, you wanna see? Okay, hang on. My house, I didn't get the roof on. And then Ella's masterpiece, you see? that last night no we're not gonna eat them now because it's only what like 9 30 in the morning still but you did such a good job honey also we are i do have the green light i can totally go get that um auxiliary cord that we saw at best buy today however i gotta go to the store i gotta go to walmart um i needed razors diapers i sent tj a list uh minor grocery shopping so while we're there anyways i'm gonna see if they have something there if not at least i know we can get it at best buy so i don't mind making two trips quick slide before we go ready Woo! nice job i didn't say that one too all right quick one <laughs> i'm cold it's actually not that bad out today what bubba i see ready <gasps> shimmer or shine Push you. Yeah. All right, ready? Small push. Ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see a pony. See a pony? I, I gotta see. empty out your sandbox, honey pie. Come on, girl. We got a pack of razors. We need some hairspray. I like the instant volume, but I also like the instant freeze for when I tease my hair. So we'll get those two. So I just had to grab her something real quick, and they're like in there. But they're 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 not for you yet. We're making a quick trip in the electronics section just to take a poke and then we'll move over to the booth section. I don't know what you're talking about, girl. Okay, I don't think they have what I need. Uh so we're just gonna go to Best Buy to be safe after here. I do need a pack of diapers while we're here. What's funny, honey? It's a bunny. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the rest is pretty much food shopping. And then, again, a Best Buy trip. And then we'll probably get lunch after that. Because I think it's... Hatchable eggs. Oh, baby, I think Santa already knows that you want Hatchable eggs. I think he knows. All right, we've successfully finished grocery shopping. We, like, started it last week. But we had a couple big bills coming out, so we're like, you know what? We don't have to buy everything at once, so we kind of did it in two trips. I am so thirsty, and my car is way too small to be grocery shopping with. Anyways, I pretty much got everything that I needed, including two little things. Look at my candy um, Probably for her stocking. Look at my candy cane. I see, and we got two candy canes because they were two for one. I love Sunny D. It's not the Sunny D. But I forgot that if you brush your teeth and then drink Sunny D soon after, it literally almost tastes like rotten eggs. <laughs> and I knew this because I used to have Sunny D almost every morning in high school. And I had brushed my teeth, got on the bus, and then went to school. So that's why I know that. And I forgot about that. But I am so thirsty. I'm like almost overheating right now I don't know why I'm so hot yeah I'll show you those two little things that I got her well you know what I won't even show you guys because like I said I'm doing a whole what Ella's getting and for Christmas or like what my family's getting for Christmas video um, which I'm so excited I feel like I probably mentioned but um, I think today's Friday for me so I think the next available time I'll be able to like go out by myself and do a little bit of Christmas shopping won't be until next Wednesday. So I'm Look starting to, it's starting to, time's coming down on me. Mm-hmm. So hot in here, I don't know why. Hey, Mom. Yeah, honey. Uh-oh, she's broken. Uh-oh. I can't fix her. You gotta fix her, baby. You gotta put her torso back on her skirt and then her head back on her torso. Yeah, sure. This... Sunny D, by the way, is only like a dollar for the big uh, one. So I ended up getting so three of them. Because I figured they'd be great to like bring into work. 
instead of soda because I have such a problem with soda. Like it's kind of unreal. Like I wake up in the morning. Good job, honey. I wake up in the morning craving sugar. Who is beeping at me? It better not be. Absolutely craving sugar. And I know that soda has such a bad impact on that. So I'm really trying to, I mean, obviously Sunny D isn't the ideal alternative, but it's better than soda at least, so. But anyways, we are gonna go grab this cord real quick. It's gonna be like an in and out trip. And then we gotta find lunch. I don't know where the heck I'm gonna go. Oh my God, that guy is like running across. Oh, people are psychos. Just about getting to that time where I'm gonna film. So I pulled out the palettes I'm probably gonna use. I see, let me show, oh, okay. Um, I'm kind of curious, it's more so for just me, but I figured I'd put it on the vlog anyways. Um, I'm gonna switch you guys over to my Canon camera in just a moment, and we're gonna do a little bit of audio testing just so I can see uh, the difference between, you know, the, the built-in mic and then my Blue Yeti mic. So, we're gonna clip that in. I'm gonna put it on the tripod because, like I said, I'm getting ready to film soon anyways. Uh, I also need a battery. Is there a card in here? Yeah, it's a card. Let's see. Okay, one of these batteries is kind of bad, like it doesn't hold a charge. Let me see. Okay, yeah, this one's already telling me. I gotta like mark this one to remind myself that that's probably the bad one because it said that it was fully charged. Okay, at least this one says there's a charge. It's only 15 minutes left on this card, but that's more than enough time. So I'm gonna set this up really quick. Like so, and then, um, so here's my blue Yeti microphone. Um, I just have a big pink bow on it, but I have the, so I need a power strip. So it's just a USB to a micro USB cord. And I think mine's a little bit long. Like this part is a little bit long for the Blue Yeti, but it still does work. And you should see this little middle button light up red when I plug it in. Okay. Okay, so you can see that's red. Um, it's a little finicky, so I would just have to make sure that I don't really touch it very much. But if you want to mute it, you would just hit the button once and then the red button starts flashing. That means it's muted. And then the uh, cord that we just had to pick up is what is going to connect my camera to this microphone. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open this up real quick. This should be the right cord. I did a lot of research on this yesterday to make sure that I got the right thing. So it's two, it's a male to male auxiliary cord. There are 3.5 millimeters. So what you're gonna do is take this one and there's a headphone jack under here. So I plug one end into the headphone jack and then the other end, my camera should also have a headphone jack, probably on the other side, yeah. Oh, Mike, let me see. Okay, yep. So there's... All right, so this is where I'm gonna do the testing. I don't know if this is gonna go, cause there's a microphone one, and then the other one's not like a headset, but it's something else. So let me see. Okay, well, this is too big for the other one, so this has to go into the microphone one. So I'm gonna switch you guys over to this camera real quick. And um, we're going to test the audio. You know what? First, we're going to do it. I'm going to unplug it and just show you what the audio looks like without the microphone. And then we'll do a quick clip with the microphone. Okay? Okay. Okay, so this is like the audio without the microphone. This is kind of what I usually deal with. There should be some sort of like hissing or like background noise of some sort. So now we're going to do a quick clip with the microphone and see what we hear for difference.
no joke. How many attempts later? Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten attempts later, we finally may have gotten something. But my love, it is a half hour past your nap time because mom was about to throw this microphone out the window. Yeah, come here. And let's go get you a bubba. Okay, right. Oh. Okay, guys, this is the Snow White inspired makeup that came. Ignore my chores in the background, they're drying. I just finished filming this video. I am just keeping my fingers crossed about the audio, you guys. Oh, I had to record like the intro and outro like three or four times, no joke, because I just wanted to make sure at least that had audio, but I don't know if the audio for the actual tutorial came out yet or not, and I won't know for a while because one, I have no space on my computer right now, so I have to finish editing a vlog, I have to edit another makeup tutorial, and then probably edit this one, so I won't know for a little while, but this look was so pretty that I didn't want the video to go to waste, so I'll just end up doing a voiceover and explain what happened. I'll definitely practice with this mic some more, so hopefully in the future, you know, it'll just be a much easier um, setup and stuff. Um, I did just throw on this, like, royal blue shirt and then a white collared shirt underneath. Um, unfortunately, I don't have, like, a yellow skirt to go with this look to complete Snow White's outfit, but I do have a white tulle skirt that'll probably just match with this and then probably just a pair of flats or maybe even my nude wedges. I'm not sure yet. Um, I do want to go find some earrings and stuff, but I'll find that when Ella's up, so don't disturber going up and down the stairs but that is gonna be it for today guys because for pretty much until I go to work I'm just gonna be working on my computer so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a sneak peek of this look hopefully the tutorial will be up um, if not before Christmas because some of those videos are a little more time crunched than this one it might be one of my first videos in January for the new year so we'll see Ooh, scary hallway don't worry I just got out of work I gotta quickly throw this in the dumpster and I do have a note to bag. All right, there's a trash on the floor, which means this is most likely full. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Dang, it's empty. Be lazy. Okay. All right, let's go. I absolutely hate being cold. It's like, I think it's 30 degrees outside right now, which I've seen worse, much worse, but I feel like I still have so much to do and it's already almost 11. Like next week at work, our times are extending. Sorry, I know it's kind of dark in here. Um, our times are extending and which means like Mondays and Tuesdays, I won't get home until I think 11.30 and then Fridays. Sorry, I'm trying to prop you guys up for a second. And then Fridays, I won't be getting home until uh, midnight or so. It's kind of crazy, but that's okay. I need to find myself something to eat though. And honestly, I may just end up, I ended up buying the, Oh, mm, the potato wedges that I really, really like. But, oh no, it only takes five minutes to prepare. So I'm kind of debating on just throwing like some corn in it, some seasoned salt, the garlic, parsley, of course. And then maybe I have some like mozzarella cheese. So it could be like a quick dinner. But I also have to, I'm standing in front of a cold fridge. I also have to take a shower. And I was editing a makeup tutorial earlier that I really wanted to continue editing. Um, tomorrow's probably going to be a lazy day because I actually think we're finally going to get snow. We have not gotten snow. I always show you guys um, our first snowfall every year. And we haven't gotten any. That's just simply why you haven't seen any. Um, so if it does snow, I'm probably going to take Ella outside. <laughs> just really like get maybe not even an hour or so but just so she can kind of play in it and we don't have a sled but we're not going to get enough for sledding so we still have time to go get some but my car is just not the best in the snow and I really hate driving with her in the car when it's snowing it just it makes me so nervous every single year that I've driven since from 16 to 24 I've spun out or like I've 
skid like off the road in a car and it's a very scary thing and I just don't want the to obviously ever happen with my daughter in the car so if I don't have to drive I'm not going to so we'll probably just have a lazy day maybe do some crafts and stuff I know myself I um didn't show you guys that oh hello that Ulta bag and I was mentioning how I wanted to find a, another drugstore primer to try and kind of do like a um, half face monostat primer, half of the face, um, a regular drugstore primer and see if I see any difference in like my pores or fine lines or anything like that. So I thought this was actually only 10. I don't know if I just read the label wrong. I thought it was 10. So I was like, okay, that's not that far from six. But I ended up coming out to like $13.99. So basically 14 bucks. So I was like, whoops, I definitely just doubled my price. So that's okay though. We'll still give it a try. This is the NYX Hydra Touch, and it stood out to me. A, I thought it was $10. Secondly, my skin is very, very, very dry. I don't really struggle with oily skin at all. Um, so the hydrating part of it kind of stood out to me a little bit because on top of dry skin, I also mostly enjoy like mattifying um, foundations. Although I, when I run out of the foundation I'm using currently from the drugstore, I want to look for like more of an illuminating foundation. So, um, but we will probably give this a try. So I'll probably film in the morning and do some sort of voiceover because Ella will be up and then bring you guys like halfway back through the day when she's down for her nap to kind of show you what my face is looking like. So that's sort of my plan. So honestly, I may just wrap my hair up in a scarf so it doesn't look too terrible so I don't really have to do it tomorrow when I film my video I might have to touch it up but I don't really want to play with it too much if I'm not actually gonna go out and do anything I have the next two days off so it is what it is I also picked up some mail while we're out although I am gonna save this receipt just in case I don't like it because when I bought that Revlon photo photo finish primer I hated it, but I forgot the receipt, so I couldn't return it. So I'm going to actually keep this together in the bag until I film that video. Headphones can go back in my pocketbook. I think this is just a bunch of coupons. Mm. Oh, and um, lens crafters. This was when we went to go get like our eye exam done, and we, we didn't get it done because it was a mix-up with like our insurance. Let me see. We're sending you this friendly reminder because we care about your eyes. Your last visit was a year and a half ago. This is for TJ. Like, yeah, we're just there last week. So that's trash. But I'm going to go. Honestly, my back is absolutely killing me. And I got to just figure out something for dinner and get myself situated while editing this vlog. So I will see you guys in the morning or in my next vlog, depending on when this vlog is ending. <laughs> my potato's screaming at me.